just casually on a walk, loving life. <gasps> what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Alice, I hate to say it, but love, I think you've put on a few pounds. <laughs> she's, had a, she's, she's had a big Easter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome faces to a new dawn and a new day. Now, <laughs> hold that thought, Alice. People in my comments have often gone, ooh, Alice is looking big. Ooh, Alice is looking big. And I'd just like to say, Alice was not pregnant during everyone commenting that. So you were basically just saying, you're a fat bitch, all right? Um, but it just so happens to be that the, the fatness thing has gone. She's burned it all off and instead traded it up for a baby. So flipping heck. He had it in me, did he? He had it in him. <laughs> Spunkius Maximus the Sixius. Carl. <laughs> okay, so listen. <laughs> to be fair, I think you, I think it's a proud moment. So we, we can finally talk about it. Alice and Carl are driving a baby, and they've got a little baby on the way. It's a little boy. A little it's expected in July. Everyone's been asking questions, so now it's okay to call a fat. But when the oh, baby no, comes out, not. when a baby comes out, if you start calling a fat, whoa, oh, wow. you're gonna have me to deal with. Go you're gonna have the baby this. just. Swing him round, his umbilical cord, bam! And you're gonna have Carl, he's gonna come and kick your teeth in. So let's keep it all respectful. But Alice is six months pregnant. And you're gonna be a little uncle? I'm gonna be an uncle, the fun uncle. And uncle. I'm just the fun uncle. I cannot oh, wait for it. But more so, I'm sure people were wondering, Tom, uh, like, why have you not shared this with us sooner? And the answer is, uh, I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> and more so, we do actually have on camera the moment we found out. So now that Lydia's back in the vlogs, it won't be a shock yeah. and a surprise that you see her sat right next to me. So without further ado, come here, Carl. Come here. Should we roll the clip the moment I found yeah, out? Yeah, you found out. Yeah. That was going to be an uncle. Are you sending me to the Maldives? Oh my God! Are you sending on. me to the Maldives? My mum knew hers. Wait, what? Why have you both got them? My mum knew hers. Open I'm it up. I'm gonna have a freaky fit out and out. Open it, open it now, open it, open it! <laughs> no way. That was cute, right? That was, good, that was a good one. Now, can we also roll the clip of when my dad found out? Because um, that was one of the weirdest reactions I've ever expected. We had the cameras rolling everywhere. It, like, we were filming for like 20 minutes and they were opening the presents and yeah, they were taking we ages. We batteries. went through, no joke, four phone batteries went dead just to try and catch it on camera. And I thought my dad's reaction was gonna be like, Whoa! or screaming or anything. It was the most, it was the most, oh my gosh, my life is over. I can't just get in my camper van and go adventuring as much as I want anymore. I'm gonna be a granddad. No, we had found out some other news. Well, well yeah, I'll tell you that in a second. So um, here, we'll play it and then we'll play it again in slow-mo so you can see the, <laughs> the like not the, not the dread, no. the shock sink into him. So without further ado, my dad's reaction to my sister being a mum. <laughs> Eight months and three days. Eight months, Eight two months. months and three days. Hey, I'm Grandad. Grandma. Grandad. 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 Oh! oh my gosh, it's happened. It's bloody happened. Oh! Oh my gosh! Happy Christmas! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Trump's a new phone, that, doesn't it? 
I know, yeah. <laughs> I had to talk it up, man. <laughs> If you don't want it, we can take it. Can swap it. Yeah, 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 we can swap it. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, but funny, but really funny, right? Yeah, funny. So that was great. We that was, that was awesome. Yeah, he's, he's excited. I think I genuinely do mean, like, I think he was like, yes, I'm getting to my retirement age now. I'm going to get my camper van, go where I want, adventures, free all the time. And then, yeah, he's now got, like, a baby he's got to look after. Just take the baby with him. However, there was a plot twist. We didn't know about this, but that exact same day, early on in the day, Gail, like my stepmom, basically found out that her son is also oh, having a baby and it's due a month, five a month, a month behind, me, yeah. behind Alice. So in one day, <laughs> they went, my dad's got four kids, Gail's got two kids. They've got, they're like both all nearly 40 or whatever. They've gone 40 years with no grandkids and then, Christmas Day, they find out two. that they're having two. So, um, no wonder my dad's reaction was like, yeah. <laughs> He's now got to look after two grandchildren. So, <laughs> now I've got to say, though, I'm definitely the most excited. I get to like babysit and take them on adventures, right? I mean, I'm a you do nervous. know, like, when the kids like go stairs and not kids, when the kid, oh, yeah, my kid house is my house is really not kid friendly. I'm thinking that when the kids around five plus i just start like taking him away on holidays i'll just say okay, I, i'm that's borrowing great, him that's great with me that yeah, yeah. so i'm gonna borrow him and just be like we're going on an adventure and then like me and the vlog can decide whether we're gonna go off to europe with him or we're gonna go like island with him and we'll drink guinness and he can have a blackberry juice and then fine. yeah but i'm just, just i'm just so excited great i love you i can't wait to take care of you and yeah there you go i finally i finally talked about it i'm well excited and for everyone asking if i because i said something in my video the other day and people were like tom are you are you trying for a baby right now because i mentioned like starting hey, a family <laughs> oh, so oh my god i'm eight months pregnant <laughs> um no i'm i'm definitely not trying for a baby or anything right now i've always said when i turn 30 so in like a year and a half it's fair game if i end, if I end up having a baby then you know well may, not me having a baby if i end up having a baby then i end up having a baby so uh, do, no don't be thinking i'm trying to pop one out anytime soon focus is on alice and Syndicate Maximus the third. Syndicate Maximus the third. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one for the book. So if you haven't done so already, you're alright. If you haven't done so already, go to syndicateoriginal.com, buy yourself a t-shirt, otherwise Alice won't be able to feed the kids. <laughs> Literally. Yes, I've got a new guilt trip method to get you guys to buy stuff. <laughs> oh, just disclaimer, I don't take any money out of the company or make money off it, so look after babies! I don't touch the money, make <laughs> Alice keep a job. <laughs> Oh, the the baby. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bring out a t-shirt and all the profit goes to... The baby? <laughs> now that walk was lovely, but it is a new dawn and it is a new day and it's time to celebrate Alice's birthday! Well, I can't believe it. She's pregnant and she's 31 years old! Hello, baby! You ready to go and enjoy your birthday? It's a day out, it's a day out, it's a day out, it's a day. It's going to be a great, beautiful day. <laughs> um, I have to say this right now. Um, is it a good idea for me to be transporting my seven-month pregnant sister in my bouncy Land Rover Defender? <laughs> are, you sure this, are you sure this is okay, Alice? Are you sure? Are you going in the front or the back? Okay, because I was going to say, the back has got super suspension. You know, we're off to a belting start for this day when my mum's uh, saying, oh, I couldn't have drove where we're going now because if I would have drove, I would have got pulled over by the police breathalyzer and lost my licence. You were that drunk last night, you don't remember me FaceTiming you? I don't remember talking to you outside. Do you want the bell outside my house? It's watching fall down the stairs. I think my mum might have a bit of a drinking problem. No, I've got a new drinking buddy. 31 today, 31 today, 31 today, not 32. Sorry yeah. I said that, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Don't put that I can't video. wait. Edit that out about me being drunk. No. I don't want to be known as a drunk. You are a drunk, let's go. Welcome to the family mum, we're alcoholic. Well, well, you're, you're seven, actually that's a good thing to bring up. You're seven yeah, months sober. So, um, How does it feel? It's alright to be honest, I'm looking forward to that nice uh, ice cold glass of champagne Ooh. and maybe a cocktail. <laughs> She's gonna get smashed. Alright, we're not going anywhere unless I get some fuel in here, which I've been putting off for a long time because it's literally running on empty and I've not been wanting to fill up because of that. Oh lord. Oh, I could hear it filling up and for a full tank of Defender petrol it's what, 87 pounds? Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell a kidney. Oh, she's worth keeping around though. She's worth keeping around. Look at that spider web. She needs to clean. All right. We're not going to run out of fuel. Let's go. Oh, we're going to the Edwardian. Oh, 
Oh, she likes it here. Ta da! Da 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 da! Pregnant lady inbound. Ta da da da! Well, I've never been here before, and oh wow! Would you look at this? Very nice hotel. That's a big angry cock. Oh, this is a bit of summit. <laughs> summit. This. Wow. This is an absolute vibe. Okay, I really, really like this vibe for the basement of the house and the work that we're doing. Because not only is this colouring and the wood and glass super cool, look at the pool. Oh, very nice. I'll tell you something, stop making stuff from the spa. I caught that on camera. Give me that back. Put the tea bag back. What have you nicked? What have you nicked? Sugar in it. Stop nicking sugar. Oh, well, I didn't anything. Give me one. Give me one of them then. Oh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put it in my pocket. Oh, right, yes, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll take one. There you go, I'll give it to you when we get home. Yeah, yeah, no worries, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 we'll do. Look at this. This is mega. What a really nice, like, stop nicking the sugar. Nice vibe, this, isn't it? Like the wooden walls and the black. It's like an old vault, isn't it? I, I feel like, yeah, it's like a, like a t little tunnel. Probably what it was, actually. Probably some sort of railway tunnel section. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, Liz, you look so ready for your massage. Well, this is your maternity. Massage. Is it what's it called? It's a prenatal. A prenatal massage. So what do they do? Just your feet, your hands, and your face? No. They rub your belly. Oh no. Here for a treat, boy. Little baby, enjoy yourself. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to meet him. I so wanted to make that noise again. Are we tempting you to uh, on the way? Or oh. Oh, I was going to say, there's Rudy's Pizza across the way. We could go for a slice there. Well, they'll just buy a whole pizza you can have a slice. So spoiled. Oh, the baby's going to love this. The baby's going to love it. Beautiful. Delicious. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alice. Happy birthday to you. Hey, 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 I'm having a look in the room. Woo, speech. Thank you all. Happy birthday. I'm just joyous cake from my 31st birthday. Thank you very much for this lovely cake. I love that you've still got your bow on. This is my bow. Love Olivia Bow. Hey! And 32nd birthday will be a little bit different. We'll be having a little baby somewhere on the floor. Oh, yeah, make a wish. Woo! You know, that was really sad. What? Every time I've made a wish for the last like two years, <gasps> it's been to have a baby. Oh, <laughs> and now I can make a new wish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. 24 hours later. All right, your boy has got to step away from the computer, get into the bedroom, get changed because um, I've been invited to an award show tonight. And you know what? I get to take um, my, my lovely <laughs> my lovely sister along with me to the one and only Manchester Pride Awards. Now, you may have heard of like the Pride of Burton, you know, like where they do awards for people who've done like incredible things, whether it's raising money for charity or, you know, just amazing accomplishments for like Great Britain as a whole. Well, they basically do a version of that in Manchester, which is the Manchester Pride Awards and... We've been invited to it, so I need to get out of this and into something like this, but um, I also need pants, so uh, I'm just going to quickly change that by going ironing something. <laughs> hey, look at that, boys. I was going to be, like, all tuxed up and stuff like that, but it said that, like, it's not a black tie event or anything like that, so it's just, like, wear a suit. So I was like, you know what? Nice little black suit. We're rock and roll. I've got some, like, shiny shoes that I'm going to be putting on, and, um... Yeah, jobs are good in. Now, all right, there's a bit of a belting add-on to this story because we're going to this award show could just get a taxi down into Manchester. But about three months ago, I went into a restaurant and some guy came up to me and went, are you a famous YouTuber? And I was like, if I answer yes, am I gonna get kicked out? And if I answer no, what's gonna happen? And he was like, oh, nothing bad. He said, um, I've got a friend who does like transport for like footballs and all this sort of stuff. And it's like, if you ever fancy going anywhere, hit him up and he might sort you out. So like, if I feature him in an Instagram tag or put him in a video or something, it'll give me a free ride. And I've never really had an opportunity to use it until now. So as I walk out with my shiny shoes, Oh, very, oh, you're suited and booted as well. You look better dressed than me. I do, Chief Tom, very nice to meet you. Scott. Very nice to meet you, Scott. Look at this bad boy. Okay, oh, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I will definitely take this as an opportunity to use it. And look at that, he's a man of his word. He put some beers in it for us. So yeah, this literally all came about because someone at a restaurant, I thought I was getting kicked out, put me in touch with this legend, and now we're traveling in style. <laughs> Mate, this is sick. Oh my. Wait, is there a PS5 in it? What? <laughs> I, ju I just spied the controller chilling on the floor. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. By the way, that screen is not flickering. That's because of my camera. This is sick. Wait, is that, wait, what? Oh, the screen's going down. Oh, that's pretty trick, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, mate. I'm ready to rock and roll. Hell yes. You know, any excuse for a vlog, you know what I mean? <laughs> is that wireless charging? Yeah, it should be. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, does this actually mi- Whoa. Okay. So I've done a few videos like where I, I like travel on planes and stuff right. and you've got a fair few views and I've never really thought of doing like, you know, like review travel of like luxury, a like, a, like a land jet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, this is well my starry ceiling and everything. <laughs> so, you know, I said my sister's coming with me on this adventure. She doesn't really know how in style we're traveling, but like, come on, she's having a baby. So I'm like, I'm not just gonna throw her in the back seat of a taxi. I have to travel my sister out in style. Oh mate, this this is too cool. Right, okay, one sec. <laughs> oh, look at you. You look lovely, Alice. Oh, look at that. Get on in. See, I told you, she'll probably, she's, she's probably got more active followers than me, to be honest. <laughs> this is amazing. Tell me this is not the way to get about. This is absolutely. He offered us a bottle of champagne, oh. and I was like, we would totally neck that, and you would more than anything, but Sorry. yeah, after the baby. <laughs> Yeah, this is amazing. Hell yes. Absolutely. Do you know what? I was saying to the driver, do you know how I like do loads of flying and do loads of like reviewing of travel of flying? Yeah. Imagine if we just do cars for like a month and we travel all around England with the baby. La baba. The baby can just be there in the chair chilling. I can have, <gasps> you can have beers as well. Oh, nice I can have beers, you can drink Diet Coke and we can travel the world or <laughs> Europe. Well, I'm hashtag used to sponsored. you getting drunk with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hashtag sponsored. I'm used to you drinking with me, but clearly not the case. To be honest, I can't believe you've not had a drink in mm. seven months. That is crazy. Right, oh, put that down a second. I've had an absolute belting idea. Give me the controller, give me the controller. Oh yeah, get that on, get that on. Oh, where's the volume? Crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it. Oh man, this is the OG, man. This is the OG. What? No, it's not, but it's just, I've used it that many times that it became our boy. From riding around on a bicycle, filming me vlogs, running into you, roll the clip up, to now rolling in style to a charity award show. How amazing is that? Or a good, uh, uh, I think it's more of a, a good deed of taking pride in what Manchester has achieved award show. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Straight off the streets, onto the red carpet down the strip where you get your photo taken and Alice has quickly gone to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, we're in, we're in. I think we've actually, for the first time ever, in existence, made it to an event on time. I'm sure that's just orange juice. I can't believe it. Do you remember we went to the bathroom and we missed the red carpet? Yeah, we missed everything. Well, look at us here, eh? We've missed it. And Alice, Alice you do look amazing. Cheers. I'm glad we could bring the baby <laughs> He's gonna take oh, over everything. Oh, true. <laughs> when we stood in front of the people, I was like, this is my sister. <laughs> She's seven months pregnant. <laughs> just in case everyone was like, oh, you guys look cute together. I was like, I hope they don't say anything. So I'm just gonna preempt it. You do look beautiful. Not you. Oh, you better know. Your boy has done a photo shoot. Orion, pictures on screen, small montage, go. And I hope you enjoyed that montage because I've now got my own montage to make. And that is with champagne. <laughs> Number two. What on earth are you doing here? All right, all right, all right. I'm hoping 32 was the right number. <laughs> Ooh, ho -ho. Very nice. What is going on? <laughs> Nothing over here. Look at that. Hey, what, you, what, what is that? What, what is that? <laughs> No, don't worry, I'm uh, just going to sit with my glass of water. What do you mean it's coming? It's coming. I'm I'll leaving. Sure. I don't sure. believe you. 
And just like that, the night comes to a close with the legends who are the pride of Manchester. Kevin, I'm sorry I got emotional, but I will say this. Liam, you are a fucking legend. From someone who's going to be a future Stop. fucking star. Oh, kill him wise. Liam, get on it, brother. You better fight that fight, brother. And I will come to that hospital. And I will kick your fucking ass myself. Yeah. I don't want to be filming this at all because I've just watched back the video but unfortunately I have to interrupt this vlog because um, I got news that unfortunately Liam lost his battle with cancer. I feel like it's too often that I come to this channel and say that someone that I've met has lost a battle with it and I just hate it, absolutely hate it and I never know what to say, I never know what to do. It's just not fair. So I just wanted to say if you're out there and you've got your loved ones around you. Appreciate every moment you've ever got with them. But yeah. The world is a very unfair and shit place at times. He was a legend. This thing that happened to me today uh, made me so happy. Um, it was mad. So I was chilling out on my bed. Uh, and pretty much it was a surprise for me. Um, they, my family already knew about it. Pretty much, a syndicate uh, came to my house. Yeah, I opened the doors. I think it was just an engineer, and it was syndicate. This should be a quit right now. Huh? How you doing, bud? Oh, syndicate! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're okay. I'd say. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Oh
like, I need to have your mask on. How are you doing? Good night. Oh. Hey, Liam the legend himself. I ran right up to him. It was pretty hard. Syndicate, if you're watching this, another big thanks. And uh, see you later, guys. Yep, my name is Liam. I really don't want to be ending this video on such a sad note, but life is too short and you better make the most of it because I'll tell you something right now, fucking Liam dead. I will be ending the video. Thank you for watching. If Liam's family or anyone's seen this, thank you so much for letting me meet him. And I don't, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to end the video. Yes, I have. Yes.